भावनगर आई एम शिवानी पटेल ए के ए शिवानी ऑफ फूड लाइफ स्टाइल एंड ट्रेवल कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर नाउ यू मस्ट बी वॉन्डरिंग वट्स ए शिवानी एंड वाई ए शिवानी वाई नॉट फूड ई शिवानी और शिवानी इज दुनिया और फूडीफाइड शिवानी फूड स्टार शिवानी एक्सेट्रा वेल इट्स ए शिवानी विथ अ कॉन्शियस डिसीजन एंड दर इज अ स्टोरी बिहाइंड इट by this time so many of you may have recalled 1999's khoobsurat movie song a shivani to lagti hai nani well it has an indirect connection to a shivani so when i was in school the fellow students used to mock me a lot and they used to make fun calling me a shivani to lagti hai nani to item purani and all and i didn't used to like it and i had promised myself that some day people will proudly call a shivani and will take pride in knowing a shivani coming to the current scenario of my life it's been one and a half year that i have moved to bengaluru with my husband and i'm a full time content creator and a, a full time homemaker there now you must be wondering how do i get paid for reviewing restaurants there how do i monetize all of this so basically my work is to do photography videography editing reels doing brand negotiation doing brand deals adding voice over and eventually adding all of this on instagram that's my job now how do i monetize this i work with restaurants and cafes who would love me to create content for them on for their menu and their cuisine to get access to my audience through my page now you must be wondering how did she got on social media and uh, what got her into this world of social media and blogging and all so there's a story behind it and uh, i'll keep it as short as my reels <laughs> so uh, during my school time i was an average student with decent grades my life took an unexpected turn when my parents decided to switch my uh medium from english medium to gujarati medium in 8th standard their intention was to ease my burden to help me with the studies at home but that change bought it bought its own set of challenges making new friends become a huge struggle because of that switch i got that two best friends for my life everything was well everything was sorted when i entered college those two best friends were looking to go to cities like rajkot and Jam- uh, rajkot and amdavad and even i i wanted to join them and i also wanted to uh, go to cities like that for my college for the studies but life had some unexpected plans for me and i ended up taking admission in peit in noble group of institutions junagadh new college new friends new environment new city away from home and no one to share that nostalgia when felt homesick so eventually i felt peace amidst the beauty of junagadh that majesty of girnar that starry winter night and some of the best sunsets i saw became my inspiration this led me to express my love for nature via photography and videography even though being an it engineer and that love for nature photography and nature was so strong i didn't wanted to type those quotes in black screen after watching all those colors of nature i was so much into nature photography in uh, every indian household turning 22 means marriage proposals and to get rid of not actually get rid of to stay away from all those uh, marriage proposals i took a back office job that saved me from that family drama and uh, eventually i started exploring birding and uh, nature photography in the wetlands of jamnagar so when i was new to the internet at that time i started posting my uh, nature photography content there now one year went into birding and exploring the wetlands my skin tone grew few shades darker than actually what it used to be another point of concern for my parents 
So caving into that, I got convinced, but not at the cost of letting go for my love for photography. So for two months, I was wondering what shall I do, which would keep my soul satisfied and my parents happy. So an inner voice came that why not start food photography? Again, for six months, I was in dilemma. I was in dilemma that what would people think if I started food photography? from nature photography what would people think if i'll uh, switch to food photography but i was so much curious to start food photography that i was wondering what worse can happen right what what major can happen people will unfollow me i'll lose the followers what worse can happen and i was like okay one day i uploaded that one picture one food picture and it got so many likes so much of engagement and so much of encouragement from my friends slowly i started exploring all the famous places of jamnagar and it got so much attention from people of jamnagar and also outsiders who were living in jamnagar and uh, slowly after that i realized that what i was doing was actually food blogging i started uploading more and more pictures i started getting more and more invites i i i saw a dream for ashwan that i would get brand deals i would get invited from brands cafes restaurants and i realized that uh, i am getting paid for reviewing restaurants i am getting paid to eat at restaurants right i got that ah moment of my life i was like um, Yes, this is my passion. This is what I want to do. I started merely at fifteen hundred followers. From fifteen hundred, it rose to three k, five k, seven k, ten k, and honestly, I don't remember how it went from ten k to fifteen k and fifteen k to twenty k. And with that content and uh, followers came the fame. people started looking me with a sense of courage with sense of pride and they started talking that good words for me they started pointing out me people used to whenever i was in public they used to come up to me and they would say that ma'am we would like to have a selfie with you we know you we are your followers and uh, that instagram engagement became a viral thing in real life it went up to in that extent that i don't believe it i'll share you one incident so one day I was I was in a crazy traffic jam. I was heading to my home, and I thought who would be there in that crazy traffic, right? And I was blowing horns continuously, mindless. Like there was so much traffic. And uh, when I reached home and I opened my Instagram, there was a message request stating that, "Ma'am, here are your followers, and you were blowing horns at us." I'm like, what? Now I cannot blow horns at people. I mean that was crazy, right? And I felt that uh, there is always a watch on me whenever I step outside my home. Usually, people have watch inside their home. This was the other way. I was being watched ev- everywhere, every time. I felt that mandatorily need of being dressed up all the time because everyone would any time come up to me and ask for a selfie. and i had to be well dressed all the time i mean what a celebrity problem i have had right <laughs> well jokes apart ashwani was doing so well i was not me but ashwani was in its golden era something i had longed for something i wanted so much and uh, by the time i was engaged and i was married and uh, ashwani hit 25000 followers 25k everything was perfect everything was going so well i was getting uh, invites from the inauguration events i was being uh, invited to be judge at competitions and so much more but one day my husband was called back to bangalore so uh, i was not ready to go and uh, eventually we both did long distance post marriage yeah people usually do it before marriage so for 6 months i was here in jamnagar he was there in bengaluru 
and meanwhile he found a flat there last year in july he said that uh, okay now i need you i now i really need you there not to cook not to look after him not to look after the house but he wanted that flat to become our home in bengaluru in silicon valley of india the garden city of india but honestly i was not ready to go there even though i had dreamt to be there to be in bangalore to live in bangalore but i was not ready to leave this this golden era i had created for ashwani but i had no choice and uh, eventually i moved there but my love for ashwani was so strong that i kept posting jamnagar content from bengaluru you wonder how actually i used to do to and fro jamnagar to bangalore bangalore to jamnagar for 6 months and uh, during that period i realized that i was letting go of some big unique opportunities i was getting in bangalore finally i wrapped up all the shoots and uh, i entered the world of real competition and uh, i took a risk and my worst fear came true with the every new reel i started uploading in bangalore i started to lose 20 to 30 followers every reel uploaded i am going down i started with 32.2k followers which fell down to 30.4 within the span of 4 months it was very heartbreaking to see that hard gain followers to leave but giving up was not my style came to jamnagar came to my rescue as that one reel went viral which had came to bangalore within the span of 3 days i gained 800 plus followers that gave me break in bangalore after that I got invited to Meta Creators Meetup. Meta's exclusive creators meetup happened in Taj Yashwantpur. I was invited to a exclusive bloggers table which had the OG Bangalore content creators. I would like to take a moment here because in the span of eight months, I covered hundred and plus restaurants, cafes, some of the viral experiences of Bangalore. and um, i noticed one thing tell me if you did or not life always challenged me to start from scratch to be in school changing medium to be in college and not getting the favored college to be an it engineer and not wanting to do courts to to shifting to bengaluru and to shifting my content game to bengaluru audience i always started from scratch it's okay it's completely okay to start from scratch maybe you have had before maybe you will do it now or maybe you will need to do it in future maybe you have a stable job right now or maybe you have a settled home maybe after your kids leave for the college or uh, maybe post retirement but sometimes you you will be in that situation that you will need to start from zero you will need to start from beginning but it's okay it's completely okay to start from scratch be your own phoenix burn for yourself shine up from it and start from scratch what if that day dream you are doing while bathing or while cooking or while driving car or while sitting idle the day dreaming you are doing comes true what if everything works out in your favor what everything falls actually in place the way you want what if everything eventually works out in favor of you so it's completely okay to start from scratch just think about it and start from scratch if it needs to be धन्यवाद गुरु एल